If you're anything like me, you're definitely fed up with the influencer slop products that come out on the internet basically every week from famous YouTubers, TikTok stars, and Instagram famous OnlyFans models. Really though, this stuff is everywhere and the marketing for it is almost pathetic, but because of the brand loyalty that the consumers of their content have, well, they win. They sell out almost every time, even though their products are probably lesser value than a lot of the ones that are already out there. You have influencers producing makeup, you have influencers producing their own supplements, you have influencers producing a whole slew of compounds and products that are either or experimental completely or already founded within the market and then they just sort of change branding slightly look in a better way that's more targeted towards the TikTok brand individuals out there which sucks because they win and it's a cash grab and it takes very little work to do but a large payoff let's destroy them you might have heard of Prime Energy from Logan Paul and KSI. A lot of people are starting to understand that it's really not that impressive of a product. In fact, a lot of countries are completely pulling it off of their shelves, which I think is a phenomenal idea because it's basically just slop with a bunch of caffeine. And even the non-caffeinated versions, which are more based on giving you electrolytes, don't really have any subsidence to those electrolytes, nor do they have any sort of nutritional value in which the marketing suggests. And they also could have a toxic amount of microplastics in it. However, this might be a little unfounded. It's also part of the stacking evidence that's completely against Logan Paul and the KSI. Entourage or I don't even know what you want to call those two. It's kind of just a like cash grab, like a, a giant one big fucking product rug pull, right? That's like all they do. Well, now not only have the criminals Logan Paul and KSI started their own product, but Mr. Beast, the other criminal, has joined in. So it wasn't enough just to have a scammer and someone who fraudulently steals money, but now there's also a pedophile in the group. Good. And they made a product called Lunchly targeted towards children and trying to market essentially that it is hands down better than Lunchables. They say that it is way more nutritious than Lunchables. They talk about it nonstop. Lunchly versus Lunchables. With Lunchly, you get double the amount of liquid. Prime has no sugar added, more electrolytes, and more B vitamins. Crunch I love how we're at the point in the world where like <laughs> having liquid in a ready to eat meal is something that's a marketable thing. I, I don't know. Bar. Feastables Crunch. Yeah! Yeah! Our pizza. Of course. Feastable, uh, of course it's gotta include that. Uses real cheese. Theirs, as it says on their box, is mozzarella pasteurized prepared cheese product. They can't even call it real cheese. Ooh. We're also 30 less calories, three less grams of fat, and eight less grams of sugar. I would also argue that kids shouldn't really need to worry about what macronutrients their meals have. Of course, as a parent, you should be modulating these things per the health requirements for your child. And that's really important and a lack of parenting just within the United States is a central problem. But I don't think it really does very good to market the fact that it has less fat or look it's just kind of stupid right it even has less protein which we'll touch on here in the future talking about something having less doesn't necessarily mean that it's better sugar turkey, turkey stack them 310 calories 230 calories 21 grams of sugar only seven grams of sugar if you look at this close up you can already tell which one has better ingredients all right we'll start off with the lunchables bro i'm sorry that's trash all right now we're trying lunchly Come on. We're not biased at all, but ours is way better. All right, I can't handle this slop anymore. You get the point. You guys are absolutely toxic, marketing it in a very childish way, younger individuals, and Mr. Beast gets more backlash because of the launching of this product after having already had so many lawsuits against him and so, so many claims and allegations that he has yet to respond to about an assortment of different things. As Newsweek says, it's aimed at their younger fan base. The trio's team together and launched Lunchly, a groundbreaking new better for you option that combines products that they already sell into one meal. Imagine that. This is uh, in marketing called product stacking. Great. This includes one of three processed food options, the pizza, the turkey stackums, or the Fiesta nachos, as well as a bottle of prime hydration, of course, a low sugar energy drink produced by Paul and KSI, and a Feastables milk chocolate bar created by good old Mr. Beast. The bar in which he talked about was much healthier than, for example, a Hershey's bar, and then they had to remove that marketing because it turned out not to be true. I mean, I don't really understand YouTubers at this point and what their motive is. They just want to sell slop on the internet 
and try to make any kind of cash that they can. Now, I know I'm a channel that talks about fitness, bodybuilding, health, and stuff like this all the time, right? I try to bring you the most conclusive stuff that's going to help you in your fitness journey. And I actually think there's something really important to take apart from this. Let's go to the Feastum websites and actually look at what the product is and what it's offering. Basically, the turkey stackums are our top notch take on a classic lunch leaf. Turkey stackums serve up to 11 grams of protein per pack and 400 milligrams of electrolytes per the prime hydration. Stackums in a snap. <laughs> A snap of, or savor the moment, no matter how you slice it, you're having fun for lunch. Oh boy. 11 grams of protein. I don't even want to, I'm not going to get into the nutrition. Well, actually I will, because it's important. You need about 30 grams of protein per serving of timing of eating. Essentially, you need, you need 30 grams of protein to trigger muscle protein synthesis. If you don't have 30 grams of protein or at least three grams of leucine, the response to the muscle protein synthesis process is really nullified. You don't actually experience a spike and therefore you're not restoring the reparative process of muscle protein synthesis, which isn't just muscle. I know it's called MPS, muscle protein synthesis, but proteins and the regeneration of them is something that happens systemically in your whole body, your skin, your hair, your nails, your cells. I mean, every structure is made of a protein in some way or another. So it's a pretty important thing to have at least 30-ish grams of protein. If I was making a product just like this for a younger demographic, I would pretty much ensure that it has at least 25 to 30 grams of protein. Yes, that would make it more expensive but if you wanted a truly healthy and marketably healthy product i would argue that that's one step in the right direction and the whole take on the calories being less in this product versus lunchables is kind of silly again this is a product that's marketed towards young children i don't think they need to be concerned about eating too little calories in fact i would argue that most kids need to be concerned about eating enough of the right kind of calories because they usually don't eat enough of the right calories as is and if we look at the ingredients if you can just say the first eight ingredients in the ice pop drink and say that that's actually whole food and healthy i'll be shocked water citric acid dipotassium phosphate natural flavors sucralose as for flame potassium gum arabic ester gum d alpha trophy <laughs> truck tro <laughs> jesus man uh it's basically a fortified drink with synthetic variations of vitamins that you might need actually probably not if you're eating a whole food diet uh the other thing is it offers oven roasted turkey which is consisted of turkey water sea salt vinegar potato starch cut cultured celery extract and sugar of course no doubt and the crackers are an assortment of different sunflower oils and all sorts of soy lectins and things that we kind of already know aren't necessarily the greatest soy lectin in specific is an emulsifier this isn't any sort of like carnivore advocacy thing this is just a, a fact soy lectin is a emulsifier and emulsifiers when ingested do cause some dysbiosis within the small intestine and that can lead to further digestive issues and depopulation of commensal bacteria in the gut which is very favorable especially at a young age and then the milk chocolate bar of course is chocolate so it has sugar whole milk powder cocoa butter unsweetened chocolate lectin against soy lectin vanilla extracts and wow it looks like we have much more ingredients than just the you know three ingredients that they said they have which is cheese meats and crackers and again i don't know how they're not getting sued for this but they do compare it directly to lunchables as if this has any sort of substantial leverage over lunchables so while it does have less calories it actually has more carbohydrates I, I just don't for me i don't really see the purpose of this right they're trying to market it in any capacity that they can it's kind of nuts and if you go to their websites there are <laughs> No <laughs> stores found. A lot of people are very precautious in certain countries to stock their products after having spent millions on Prime Energy Drink and that kind of having crashed to the ground and completely went sideways. And Twitter is having a heyday with this product, an absolute heyday. I mean, the memes are absolutely stellar. Me after eating one lunch, <laughs> me after eating one lunch. <laughs> Children shouldn't be counting calories nor concerned about their fat intake. Not to mention the real danger, sodium, is way higher in lunchly. Well, that is just a absolute fear monger i'll be honest the sodium really is indifferent if you're already healthy and it shouldn't be a problem unless you're already you know pre-existing obese and then that's a problem so logan paul posted about it as well and then someone replied and quoted this coming from a man who tased a pair of dead rats filmed a dead body and uploaded it to youtube scammed people with a crypto game faced several lawsuits and currently is facing them and created a drink that is sold in cans containing lead <laughs> 
<laughs> Me waking up in an alleyway without my organs after eating a turkey lunch leaf. Someone compared the ingredients to the Chad Prime and then... <laughs> The ingredients of Capri Sun. And Capri Sun has more natural ingredients than the Prime. And they quote that as being an epic ingredient. I, I love this. This is just... You can't even make this up at this point. So you're not on this video for me to just preach about how stupid some YouTubers are and the, the corrupt society that our world has become in the 2024. You're here to actually hear some facts. And the facts are that if you're someone out there who has a child who is looking to get their nutrition leveled up, a lunchly, nor arguably a lunchable, is going to be the way to do that. Now, I agree with some of the sentiments online that the children shouldn't have to worry about counting fats and calories and things like this. That's true. But as a parent, it's your responsibility to care for the children and what they consume. It's your responsibility to make sure that they're well nourished and completely nourished, not just getting slop in when they need some calories because they're hungry. If I was a parent and I was willing to go to the grocery store, buy a lunchly or a lunchable and put that into my kid's backpack for the rest of the day, and say, hey, have a great day at school, remember your Lunchable. I would feel like a doofus because it would take me five minutes to prepare a meal for them that is handcrafted by daddy himself with a steak and nice potatoes cut up, get a bit of cheese to give them the calcium that they need and a decent pinch of salt and we're all good to go. But it seems that these days that's just completely impossible for people to do and these products are becoming successful. And the YouTubers just keep spitting out slop, just sloppity pop, pop, pop. And uh, I don't know why. I don't know why people trust them. It's kind of really fucking sad, actually. It's really sad. Speaking of YouTubers, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It does help me a lot, and I do seriously thank you. It's completely free, and it takes a few moments of your time, and it saves me a hell of a lot of pain with making videos and not getting any traction. But if you didn't like the video, make sure to let me know down below and tell me why you didn't like the video. Also, someone said I should dye my eyebrows. I don't know if that was real or just a troll, but if you think I should dye my eyebrows because it's a serious aesthetic issue then let me know because i might even be willing to do that I'm just kidding go <laughs> fucking down my eyebrows you can kiss me outside with that girl